Seeds of Hope, Stories for Lent. Today's story seed is about the bestseller entitled Tuesdays with Maury. This book, which has been turned into a stage play and a movie, has captured the minds and hearts of many people. It's an account written by the award-winning sports writer Mitch Albom, who graduated from Brandeis University decades earlier and had been a student of sociologist Maury Schwartz. In his book, Mitch Albom recounts how, as the old man was dying, Mitch renewed his warm relationship with his revered teacher and mentor. This book is a vivid memory of the teacher's battle with Lou Gehrig's disease. The dying man largely because of his life-affirming attitude toward his death-dealing illness, became something of a guru and was the subject of three Ted Koppel interviews on Nightline. This is how Mitch first learned of Maury's condition. Mitch Album well fulfilled the age-old obligation to visit the sick. He called his weekly visits to his teacher his last class, and the book he wrote a term paper. The subject? the meaning of life. As you read the book, you quickly realize that life itself is a class, and there's so much to learn every single day. If only we can adopt the great attitude of Maury Schwartz, which is to take everything that comes to us as an opportunity of learning and growing. Then indeed, we will be a great example for many others. For any of you who may be suffering, Seize the moment as a blessing in disguise. Learn all you can and share all you can. In this way, you will find the meaning of life in the lesson of life. After all, you never know when graduation day may come. Amen? Psalm 23, verse 4. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Watering the seeds. Who would you consider to be a teacher of yours in this classroom of life? Why? Can you recall a time when a past suffering actually did turn into a blessing? Describe it. As someone who's uh, used media a lot in evangelization, so I believe in the importance of Catholic radio, Catholic TV, Catholics using the new media. Can I encourage everyone to watch the home TV? I think it's a great vehicle of evangelization. And God bless all of you. Shalom World, God's own channel.